Good day students and welcome to this session where I'll explain to you all how to create your ePortfolio for teaching practice. Now to create your ePortfolio you need to ensure that you have uh, the teaching practice checklist because it's a document that you'll be uh, looking at when creating the, the portfolio itself. So the first thing that you do is um, when, you, when you're searching you, um, using uh, the particular internet browser, you search for Google Sites. So once you've searched for Google Sites, you click on the website. It's also um, www.sites.google.com. Okay, so as I mentioned, there are two uh, versions of uh, the Google Sites. Uh, I suggest you use the older versions uh, to create your ePortfolio. So um, ensure that you have uh, a Gmail account. And once you have a Gmail account, you will be able to then create your, uh, your particular website. So click on Create in Classic Sites. Um, and this is where you are required to uh, name your site. So I suggest that you um, you name your site to uh, your particular uh, student number. So you use your student number. Let's say, uh, for instance, it's uh, 2018, sorry, 2019, um, and then one, two, three, four. So that's your website, the name of your website. Okay, um, and then refer it to as uh, my CPUT. Okay, and then you click on I'm not a robot, and then you are then required to click on create. There are various templates to choose from. Uh, I suggest use a blank template to make it as simple as possible. So we're just waiting for you to create the, um, the basic website for you. Okay, so it's now created your website. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to create the folders and then also how to create the subfolders. So the first folder that's uh, required is the observation section. So right on top over here it says uh, create page. We'll call this page observation section. Um, and you can create, put it at the top level uh, like this. So once you're ready to create, click on create. Okay, so now you have um, the main folder over here, observation section. As I mentioned, it's the first uh, folder. And then you are required to upload uh, the 10 uh, completed lesson observation forms. So you click on add files um, and let's say uh, these are your, so this is your file. So it's now uploading it. Okay, so you will see your particular file has now been uploaded and uh, if you click on it, it will open the particular file. Um, once, you are, once you have uploaded it, you will have to then uh, save um, your page. So you're saving it now. Okay, so it's now been saved. So uh, to create your next uh, folder, you go back to home 
and you go back to a um, right on top of the screen where you are required to create your page click on it and let's see what is the next uh, heading the next heading is report section and final evaluation form you can basically just copy it and you're putting it uh, the page at the top level uh, and then just create okay so the report section and the final evaluation form is the next heading for the next folder um, followed which follows observation section so now that you are in this uh, folder you are now required to save okay you now need to create uh, your particular subfolders so the the next subfolder is the administrative tasks of school so uh, it's created Okay, so this is the name of the page and you will place it under report section and final evaluation form this is very important um, to group the particular subfolder under the relevant folder you don't want to create a subfolder under top level uh, because it will be very unorganized so once you have placed it under that sub so, sorry once you have placed it under this folder you will then click on create okay and take the cognizance of the fact that this is now your subfolder the administrative task at school and you are therefore uh, required to upload uh, your particular documents and it can be any of these documents so it says this document is now uploading okay and once you are ready to save changes have been saved so once you have created your subfolder uh, let's move on to the next subfolder so the organization of extracurricular activities let's copy that and remember to place it under report section and final evaluation form we do not want to create a subfolder under a subfolder so please be very cautious of that so let's go back to report section and final evaluation form okay so uh, let's create the, the page copying and pasting and remember to place it under your report section and final evaluation form so I'm not creating it like that <coughs> Follow the same uh, same steps when uploading a file. You add the file over here, and it will automatically uh, upload. And you just save it over here. Okay, let's say you have now um, uploaded all these subfolders under report section and final evaluation form. You want to move on to the the final folder, which is teaching portfolio. So let's copy it over here, and let's go back to home. So once you are under home, you click on create page and you paste it over here and you put it at the top level. So you create your new uh, folder. Okay, so it automatically follows these uh, headings. So your teaching portfolio will uh, be your third um, folder. These are your three main uh, folders. Okay, so let's say we want to create a um, subfolder. Remember, it's now under teaching portfolio. Let's save. And now you create your page, paste it, and you place it under that particular folder. So it's teaching portfolio. You can create. And here's your uh, next subfolder as part of teaching portfolio. So um, once once you have done that, you will then upload the particular file for this 
subfolder. So let's say it's uh, this file. Start loading, and you then save. Okay, so that's more or less the basics in terms of creating your e-portfolio. You would do the exact same for the other uh, subfolders as part of uh, teaching portfolio. Okay, so that's how to create, create your e-portfolio. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, email me and I will respond to you uh, thereafter. Thank you very much.